Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve this problem closest numbers in HackerRank using Python programming. So the problem statement is we have given an array. Uh, the numbers in this array will be in random but after sorting we have we will get this kind of array. So suppose in this example we have this array 5, 2, 3, 4, 1 and then after sorting we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then what we have to do is we have to find the minimum difference that is in this case the minimum difference is 1 and we have to find the numbers which are forming the pair of this minimum difference so if you see here all the pairs are forming the minimum difference that is 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 all these pairs are forming the minimum difference so that's why uh, the resultant array will be like this 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 uh, something like that so in this example also you will see that the minimum difference is 50 that is minus 20 and 30 the difference is 50 and there is only one pair of having minimum difference 50 so uh, the resultant array is only having two elements and in this sample the difference is same that is 50 but there are two pairs here uh, uh, which are satisfying that minimum difference that is 50 so the the two pairs are minus 520 and minus 470 and the second pair is minus 20 and 30 so there are two steps to solve this problem the first step is as they have given here as to we have to sort the array first and then we have to find the minimum difference and then we have to find the pairs which are having the minimum difference so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to select python 3 as our programming language and then uh, we have to write our code so first of all what we are going to do is the first step was to sort the array so we are going to sort the array using sort function and then we are going to be needing one variable that is what is the smallest difference between any of these elements of the array so that smallest will be a uh, float type with the range of infinite so I'm going to give this type as a float and the range is infinite and then a variable to re return the result so this answer will be a return variable so we have to run a loop uh, in our array with the range of error minus one and by this loop what we are going to get is we are going to get the smaller difference between the array so if you see here uh, the difference between these two is very big as the number is very big and this 20 is uh, very far away from this number these two num having very big difference as you see it is starting from 3 9 and it is starting from 3 5 and decimals are so different but if you see this two digits that is minus 20 and this 30 these are very near uh, as the difference is uh, uh, 50 only and if you check this two then the difference is same that is 50 but if you check other other two any other two uh, elements the difference is more than 50 so we have to find the smallest difference here so in all the examples they have given the smaller difference is taken into account so if you see in this four second example the difference is smaller difference is one so all the pairs are forming the uh, valid pairs and in this only two pairs that is minus 520 minus 470 minus 20 and 30 uh, forming the valid pairs because the minimum difference in this array the smaller difference in this array is 50 the smaller difference in this array is 1 and the smaller difference in this array is 50 only but the pair which are uh, having the minimum difference is only one that's why the result is minus 20 and 30 so that's the in that way we have to find the minimum difference so for this for loop what it is going to do is going to find the smallest difference in the array which we are getting in this uh, function so for for with we are running this array uh, we are running this for loop and then we are going to find the minimum difference and we are going to store it in this variable that is smallest so the better way to find the minimum difference is using min function and then we are going to use our RML elements that is array error of i plus 1 minus array error of i comma smallest so any of these which is the smaller 
that will be stored in the smallest and it is going to be running till the last element of our array so at the end of this for loop we will get the smallest difference which is there in our array so the third step is forming pairs so in that also we are going to run one loop that is range having the same range and in this if any of these elements that is error of i plus 1 minus error of i is equal to equal to smallest so if the difference between those these two elements is equal to smallest then it is a valid pair and then we have to put it in our array that is our uh, return array is a answer so in that we have to append which element we have to append is error of i and the second element which we have to append is error of i plus 1 so it this for loop is going to run from the first element of an array to till the last element of an array and we will get all the valid pairs here so at the end of this function what we have to do is we have to return the answer so that's it we will run this code so if you see first two test cases are passed we'll submit and we'll check all the conditions so so this code is working you can use this code for to solve this problem